When it comes to energy demand, Turkey is one of the fastest growing countries in the world. In the past two decades, it has been the fastest among Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, countries, an intergovernmental organization that includes several developed countries like Germany and Japan. Turkey ranks second only to China in terms of the increase in demand for electricity and natural gas. Luckily, the country is blessed with many resources required to meet the surging demand, thanks to the fact that it is located in a region adjacent to around 60% of the world's discovered oil and natural gas reserves, it has become one of the biggest energy markets in the region. Yet despite that, paradoxically enough, the country still imports around 74% of its total energy. Aside from its dependence on imported energy, another obvious issue that faces Turkey is the global shift toward reliance on renewable energy sources. While natural gas is a much cleaner energy resource than coal, it's still one of the causes of the worsening climate crisis, and the world will eventually need to limit its use significantly. In light of these issues, the Turkish government has been keen on diversifying and expanding the country's domestic energy resources to reduce its reliance on both non-renewable energy and foreign countries simultaneously. An obvious energy source to turn to in Turkey is hydropower, given the many rivers it has like the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, and the fact it's surrounded by four major seas including the Mediterranean and the Black Sea. Welcome back to PST Mega Projects. Unsurprisingly, hydropower has been playing a major role in Turkey's response to its energy problem. Today, over 700 hydropower facilities account for approximately 17% of the country's total energy supply. Mega dams obviously make up most of these facilities. Turkey has been constructing multiple hydroelectric power dams all over the country since before World War II, as the demand for electricity was already pressing back then. Surely, though, there is no comparison between the modest-sized dams of the past and the gigantic miracles of engineering being built today. There are some dams that particularly stand out, especially when they're also combined with other massive structures meant to provide the needed infrastructure. One of these modern gigantic dams is the Yusufeli Dam, currently under construction on the Kuruki River, particularly in the province of Artvin, located along the coast of the Black Sea. The Yusufeli Dam, whose construction started in December of 2021, is now almost finished. The dam stands at a whopping height of 270 meters, which will make it the largest dam in Turkey and the second largest structure built on the Kuroki River. On a global scale, the dam will be the seventh on the list of the biggest in the world. It won't be the only one of its kind though, as it is part of a larger plan designed by Turkey. It is called the Kuroki River Development Plan and is meant to eventually finish the construction of 13 dams all along the river. Two of these have already been finished, and two more are undergoing active development, one of which is the Yusufeli Dam. When the dam begins to operate at full capacity, it will be able to support a 540 megawatt power plant. This will be enough to meet the needs of around 2.5 million people. It will be a double curved dam with huge cemented walls, a crest length of 490 meters, and a crest width of 15 meters. It will consist of almost 4 million cubic meters of concrete. To put in perspective how gigantic such an undertaking will be, it is enough to note that the same amount of concrete is enough to build over 50,000 houses. What about the reservoir of this huge dam? Well, the reservoir area will be around 33 square kilometers, which will allow it to have a total capacity for storage estimated to be around 2 billion cubic meters of water, with the area of active or usable water hovering around half of that amount. The total cost of construction of the dam, along with the needed facilities and settlements nearby, is estimated to be around $1.7 billion, which involves the cost of building over 110 kilometers of roads and over 20 tunnels and bridges. Overall, the dam is expected to add around $270 million to Turkey's economy every year, meaning that the project will be able to cover its own cost in a few years and bring invaluable economic benefits for the country in many years to come. Another gigantic hydropower dam the country has built is the Iwisu Dam in southern Turkey. It was built on the Tigris River, close to the Syrian border. The dam has a height of 137 meters and a width of over 2 kilometers. Unsurprisingly, the gigantic structure has created a reservoir with an area exceeding that of the entire country of Malta. As is the case with the Yusufeli Dam, this isn't a standalone project but is part of a larger $32 billion plan aimed to transform the entire region of southern Anatolia, whose total area exceeds 55,000 square kilometers in terms of energy production. 
The region has suffered from an electricity shortage for quite some time, and the 22 dams and 19 power plants currently under development are meant to eliminate this problem by providing around 27 gigawatts of electricity annually, enough to power 10 million homes. Like the Yusuf Ali Dam, the Ilisu Dam is estimated to cost around $1.7 billion. It has been operational for over three years now. It would be wrong, however, to assume that the only costs involved in these projects are the construction costs. They have also been wildly controversial, mainly due to their impact on the area's people, neighboring countries, and biodiversity. For example, the Yusuf Ali Dam has uprooted approximately 74,000 people from their homes in the town of Yusuf Ali alone, not to mention the uprooted people in many surrounding villages. This is because construction of the dam has led water in the area to rise almost three feet every day. It has by now partially covered people's abandoned houses and drowned many churches, mosques, and graveyards, along with all the memories associated with these. It has also led to the uprooting over 70 endemic plant species, which is why environmentalists have been relentlessly fighting the project to no avail. But all of this is tame compared to the controversy the Iwisu Dam has sparked. First, the dam has displaced a much bigger number of people, around 80,000. It has also drowned many more historic buildings, which archaeologists had to quickly study and examine to keep records before they went underwater forever. Most significantly, however, the project was delayed several times, which led international investors to pull out. As a result, Turkey had to fund the entire project with internal investments, which made it a huge financial burden on the country, given its already struggling economy. The project was delayed for different but related reasons. One delay was the result of the project coming under attack by the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or the PKK. Kurds are a minority group that has been oppressed by the Turkish government and is involved in several struggles to gain its freedom. The PKK is a military group attempting to achieve that goal. The dam was perceived as a strategic play on the government's part to limit their military movements. Another delay happened because Iraq, one of Turkey's neighboring countries, was suffering from a water shortage at the time, and the dam was expected to reduce the country's water supply further, as it was built on one of its main rivers. This points to the general issue involved in building mega dams. They can cause international conflicts when they threaten other countries' interests. It's clear that at the end of the day, despite the tremendous economic benefits the projects are expected to bring, some sacrifices have to be made. That concludes today's video. What do you think about these projects, and which one do you like more? And do you think there could have been better ways for Turkey to solve its energy problem? We would like to hear what you think, so please leave us a comment down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you in the next video.